guys, this is Fever 91, and I'm talking about Kirby and the Forgotten Land demo. Now, for those who don't know, there is a demo available, so if you want to play the demo and you don't want to be spoiled, then, you know, maybe go play the demo and then maybe come back to this video if you want. But there will be spoilers for the demo ahead. Now, I'm just going to give my overall thoughts about this. It was pretty fun, actually. The demo itself was just enjoyable, and I must say it's cool how they're actually able to make Kirby in this 3D world. And that's what it's more like. I watched Spawnway's video and what he was talking about the demo. And I do agree with him that it is more like 3D World than Mario Odyssey. Actually, when I did see the trailer a while back, it kind of did look like Mario Odyssey. But this is definitely more like 3D World. But it is amazing how they're able to make a game like Kirby still work in like 3D World. And it works very well. I even like the whole being able to absorb like the cars and the cones and whatnot. They're pretty fun how they give you like special abilities. And overall, the mechanics, both old and new, seem pretty cool. Now, I haven't tried the leveled up like powers mode because after you beat the demo, you can actually like try it or try certain levels, I guess, with like the powers like leveled up or something like that. So I'll probably try that. And if I think it's interesting enough, I'll probably make a video on that alone. And I also haven't tried the co-op. So if I do that, I may make a video on my thoughts on that as well. But for now, just the overall demo was enjoyable. The only big gripe I would have probably is, once again, I agree with Spawn Wave on this, that the game is just a little too easy. Like, even the final boss, which I won't show here, it was relatively easy, especially for, like, a boss man. And I'm not even sure if I picked up the right power for the boss because they give you, like, three choices before you actually face the boss. And I'm not sure which one is actually the best to fight him with. So, overall, this was an enjoyable demo. It looks like this could be a very enjoyable game especially if they maybe up the difficulty a bit. But there is one thing. Based on the demo, at least so far, it doesn't seem like this is a $60 game. It seems like this would be a really solid $40 game, but just based on the demo, I'm not sure if this would give enough content to warrant like $60. Now, I don't know because maybe when the full game comes out, there'll be all this new stuff that you can do and whatnot or stuff that will be revealed. That would definitely make it worth 60 bucks. As of now, after just beating the basic demo, even though I haven't tried like the leveled up weapons or the co-op, it just seems more like a $40 game as opposed to a $60 game. But have any of you guys tried this demo? What do you guys think about it? And do you guys think it's a $60 game? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.